Boom, we are back just like that. We got Disney skyrocketing. We actually got to play on Disney. We got DWAC starting to go up. We got SMC still skyrocketing. We got Palantir still skyrocketing. We're also going to go over AMC. We got Tesla in the video as well. We also got the S&P 500. We also got SoFi stock in here. We got Bitcoin is skyrocketing as well. Let's go Bitcoin. Bitcoin's finally breaking up, testing that resistance level. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about, okay? So make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for all the birthday wishes yesterday. I appreciate it. Y'all actually got that video over 400 likes, which is crazy. I love it. And I'm not going to ask for 400 likes today, but this is the deal, okay? We got to get the video over 2,000 views, so make sure y'all share it out and good stuff like that, and 200 likes. Once y'all get that, I'll post the next video for y'all. I'll be traveling on the weekend, but once I see it over 2,000 views and 200 likes, I'll make a next video. I don't care if I'm at the beach sipping on some mojitos. I will still go back to the hotel and make that next video for y'all, okay? So... That's up to y'all, whether y'all get a video tomorrow, whether y'all get a video Saturday, Sunday, it's all up to y'all. Over 2,000 views, share it, however you do it, and over 200 likes. The likes should be fairly easy. Y'all can get that quick. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Let's go over the ones that are quicker. Um, I'll try not to make the video too long, okay? Also, any other stocks you don't see in this video, let me know in the comment section. I'll read every comment, and I'll try to add it in the next video after y'all get those uh, requirements, okay? So AMC, still trying to go up, has to break 420 for me to be interested. It hasn't done that yet, so guess what? I'm not looking to buy it, right? We only play strategic plays that are telling us that it wants to go higher. That's how you make money better when shares, when the stock actually wants to go higher, not you hoping it goes higher, okay? So AMC has to break that resistance level first. GameStop has still stalled. I'm honestly about to stop going over GameStop. It needs to either break 13 or it needs to break 1450, upside or downside, but it needs to do something, okay? Straight to the point. It needs to break one of those for me to be interested in. SoFi stock still stalled. It's trying to find support at that 770 area. After it had its earnings, it had that pull down, but it's holding support pretty good, I would say, today. It opened right here. Look, this is the open of the day. Support held beautiful, and we're starting to go up. Nothing just yet on SoFi, but that is a good sign that it doesn't want to break that support, okay? So we'll still watch it, but for now, we just no want to make sure that support holds, and we want to make sure that it actually wants to start going up. Then we can play the upside instead of trying to get in too early. Palantir stock is still shooting up to the moon okay the only thing i can really do right now is kind of just change the support level at 2435 we already played palantir stock when we got like over i think we got 180 percent gain on um palantir stock so just kind of watch out for that but we already played it right we bought calls in here and we sold it this day yes it's still going up but it's not really a play per se we want to wait for some pull down right we need pull down and then we need to build support and then once we do that then I'm looking to play Palantir again to the higher side. But for right now, you really just got to let it move because you don't want to be buying at these high prices, chasing price, trying to have FOMO when you should just be waiting. OK, so we'll wait. Palantir has a long way to go. Um, I think it could still reach up to above 30 ish and we're only around 24. So we're still good. I'm just kind of waiting for that pull down to, for it to build that next support and then we can really start going in. OK, now also IWM has some nice push today. It finally hit some of the targets that I wanted to do. As you guys know, some of the main ones are IWM, QQQ and SPY, the SP500, which you should be watching every day. It's easy. But we did play IWM today for the higher side. Remember, you don't want to pick tops and you don't want to pick bottoms. So since the market is bullish, we were looking for upside plays today. We got an entry here. We, we did two X's there on the IWM play. You can see here, IWM call option play. That's why I say make sure you join the team. We sold half for a 16% gain. We sold the other half for a 25% gain. That brought me right around 1630, and the whole team won off that as well. You see team there, won $26. Another team there, won 210. This person won over $300. And then you can see the whole team just went and look at all these wins here, okay? That's why I say make sure you join. It is only $65 a month, 60% off what the prices used to be that you can get it at. $650 for the year, $49.9 one-time fee. After pay is available for lifetime and elite year. And then if you want personal training where I teach you how to enter, exit, my strategies, support, resistance, that's 699 one-time fee. Make sure you email me, willknowledge77 at gmail.com, okay? And make sure you join. It's 6% off. You should not be complaining about $65 a month. If you can't pay that, you probably should not be trading. But that was a nice scalp we did. I like to scalp every morning. We got private live streams every morning to bring a consistent profit and then we could play other stuff like shares and so forth but the sp500 is still going up so just watch this support around 493 um until it breaks a big support i'm really not expecting a big drawdown a big pull down just yet we have to break a major support and we just have not done that so until we do that we're still expecting higher prices on s p 500 let's go to dwac now dwac has a buying level which is still the buying level at 42.20 and we still have a support at 44.50. 
nothing I want to do just yet, right? It is going to the higher side, but is there a play? Right now, price is just moving, right? There's a difference between price moving and an actual play with an entry, cut, and an exit, right? That's We don't have that just yet, okay? It's only moving right now. Whenever I get in, I'll try to let y'all know the team will know first on the Discord. That's where I send everything that I buy and sell or cryptos and stocks. But these are still the same levels I'm kind of watching out for. I'm kind of just waiting for it to see, does it really want to start going up to around 60? Because 60 is my target up here. That's when I really want to play it. Or is this just like a slow retracement and then it's going to have a bigger crash? Because remind you, DWC can move very fast to that downside. SMCI still pushing up to the moon, okay? So we had a buying level right here. That's still my buying level at 620. Let me turn that green, actually. So 620 is still my buying level I'm looking at. That has not changed. Support 653. We might want to change that now to... I'm going to put around 688 for support now, okay? Um, Yeah. So like I said, this one's just shooting up to the moon. You really want pull down. We haven't had a pull down that's actually juicy just yet. To be honest, I kind of want to pull down like this, like a weak pull down. A weak pull down, not as weak as in like a week, but a week as in seven days of a pull down. That's what I really want. OK, and I, if we can get that in this area here to come down to that buying level and then we get pressure, that's going to be a loaded boat. I just don't want to get FOMO trying to chase the price on the higher side. We don't need to do that. Right. That's why we scalp in the morning to bring consistent profits. So everything else, like these shares plays, you're not trying to rush in there and try to play this because you're already making consistent profits, right? You just kind of wait for stuff to build and for stuff to form. So these are levels I'm kind of looking out for, but I really am waiting for that seven-day pull down. I'm kind of just being patient and try to wait for it. Tesla stock. And don't forget, we got to talk about the oil sector, gold sector, airline sector, cruise line sector, crypto sector, all that stuff. Make sure you guys don't forget the video over 200 likes. And 2,000 views. That's when I'll post the next video. Y'all should get that pretty easy, though, to be honest. Share the videos out. Do your thing. And also comment in the stock that's not in this video, okay? Before we go over Tesla, make sure you follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Go run it up. I'll start posting all of our plays. Then make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. Willknowledge77 is my Twitter. Make sure it's the right one. Um, I'm posting on Twitter also, okay? So just make sure you join uh, both. Now, Tesla stock. Breaking resistance. That is a good sign. OK, slowly breaking resistance. I haven't bought more long term shares yet. I think I am probably going to do that maybe next week. Um, I don't because it's just moving so slow. And technically, Tesla really hasn't moved. And since that initial drop is very sideways in here. OK, so I'm going to say that 188 level is broken, which is a good sign. That is good. Right. But we still got to make some moves to the higher side. So I'm going to probably put resistance around 193 now, okay? Maybe if we start breaking 193, that's probably when I'll get like a big call option on Tesla and I'll buy more long-term shares, okay? But for right now, it's just kind of stall. We just, we just want to be mindful of that and have a little more patience. We're also going to move this support up to about 183 as well. So these are your new levels that I'm watching for on Tesla stock. Remember, none of this financial advice, all educational purposes only. Do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. Boom. So those are major two levels, kind of just waiting on Tesla. It's kind of moving a little slow. So I'm just really trying to wait until we really get that confirmation on it. Let's check the gold market. Gold market still down, trying to hold that support over there. Not too much to do with gold now. We just got to wait for that support to hold. And they got they also have earnings on Barack Gold. So I kind of want to see what the earnings does until I do a big play on gold. I think there's going to be a big reversal on gold. So I'm kind of just waiting for that uh, per se. Before we go over oral, let's go over Baba real quick. Baba hit that resistance level and guess what it did? dropped right that is why i try to give you guys the best levels in the game that's why i say make sure you join it is only 65 dollars a month if you don't want to do the year or the lifetime memberships you can do 65 dollars a month to get these levels and plays and support and all this good stuff okay make sure you join first in that description but look how that resistance hit perfect okay it hit it crash that's why i said i need that 78 dollar level to break not to just hit it right i need it to break like hit it and actually leave to the higher side. This was just a test and it crashed. So Baba still needs to break that $78 level for me to be interested. Boeing is stalled out. Hit the resistance level today right around 212. It hasn't done much off that. Look at that. Resistance and it dropped. So not too, not too much I can do with Boeing right now. Still got these two levels, but we really need some breakage out of there. Kind of like that Baba. We need breakage out of here to really confirm that we want to go up. Let's check the oil markets. OXY is the one I'm watching. I'm really waiting for OXY to break this 5830. If I'm talking fast, just make sure you try to slow down the video. 
I'm trying to impact a lot of stuff in one video, okay? But 5850 is a resistance level I'm watching. Once it starts breaking that, that's when I feel like oil is really going to start having a big movement. If you look at OXOM, they're all starting about to break those big resistance levels like Chevron and so forth. So once those break, then that's when I'm looking to play a smaller reversal. But that might start the big reversal as well. Like OXY, I'm looking for it to go up here around $65. And I'm kind of just waiting for it to break this one resistance level, which is close to. We just got to wait. But the only thing is it does have earnings next week on Valentine's Day on Wednesday, February 14th. So I might go in half, wait for the earnings, and then put the other half in, depending on what the earnings is. So just watch that resistance level. It will be very important. Let's go over Bitcoin and the crypto market. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. I appreciate it. 45,000 is a resistance level. You see how that's testing now? If we go down to the 50-minute chart, 15-minute chart, see how it ran, stalled out, ran again. It's trying to stall out, trying to hold that resistance as a support, which is a good sign. Okay, that is a good sign. I'm going to still leave support here at 42,800 and I'm going to add a resistance level here at 46,000 we'll say 46,500 we'll try to round it out that is the new resistance level I'm watching for now 46,500 we did do three plays today on crypto we did a play on Solana Cardano and Matic USD make sure you join the team to see the plays we did on that I really won't go over it on the video but I'm going to just solidify that this has been broken and we'll watch 46,500 now. Once we get closer to the resistance level, I'll change the support. But I'm going to leave the support now just in case we get a little deeper trend on Bitcoin to the downward side. But so far, Bitcoin's doing good, trying to make its way back up to the big price levels above 50. That's when I'll really start going heavy on Bitcoin. But let's go to the crypto stocks like Riot, big push today, hell support good. It might almost be time. I think next week might be the time I'm going to start buying all these crypto stocks. We already did plays on cryptos already, so crypto stocks will be next. Rise pushing up. No new levels besides a support that I want to add on pretty much all these, right? So a new Riot support is about $11. Like I said, I probably won't get these until next week. But Riot, that's a new support level looking to buy that one. We got Hut stock, which is a minor. 635 is still the support. Hut needs a little more push for me really to get interested in trying to play it. I think it might have a shorter term push to like $8, but after that, it might show some resistance. So just kind of watch out for that. I'm going to put a small resistance level right around like $8. So we can see if it starts breaking that, that might be a little sign that HUT wants to start moving and actually have some bigger prices right there. Okay, so watch out for HUT. I am looking to play it, just kind of waiting. Mara had a decent push. Support level is going to change. I'm going to put it around $17.50. But again, probably look to play these next week, but I'll have that new support on there. As long as we don't break that, I'm still looking to play it. But mind you, it had a huge drop as well. So this is just a normal retracement. Like this huge drop, it retraced back up and it had a secondary drop. That's why I'm being a little more patient on it because we don't have to get in now. Well, I don't have to. There's still a look, look how much room we have on the upper side, right? And I think Mara could reach up to like 40 ish dollars. So it's only at 21. Even if I buy it at $28, right? Say I wait for it to get all the way up here just to give you a gist of things of why you don't need FOMO. Say I get it all the way up here to $40, it's still 42% gain, right? So we don't have to rush it. Or have that FOMO. But that's a new support. Coinbase. This is the main one I'm looking to buy. The only thing is they have earnings next week on Thursday, February 15th. So I might go in half with Coinbase. Because I don't know. Coinbase just seems like it might crash for earnings. So just be mindful of it. Be careful of that. But 116 is still the support level. Not really any new levels I want to add on Coinbase. Like I said, next week I'm probably looking to get all the crypto stocks. But that's the crypto market. Let's check the airline sector. I really only watch UAL for the whole airline sector. Um, and not too much to go over this. Once it breaks 44.50, I'll be interested in playing UAL to the higher side. I hope you guys enjoy that I make the video simple. Straight to the point. No patterns, no indicators, no nothing. Pure support, pure resistance, pure strategy, and pure price action of movements. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash that like button. Over 200 views. And once I see it over 2,000 views and 200 likes, y'all will have the next video, okay? Also comment the stocks you want in the next video too, so I don't forget. But, um, so boom. What are the stocks? Let me just throw some stocks in here. Carvana, make us some nice push. That's very good. Watch this one. Once it starts breaking $58, that's when I'm kind of interested in player Carvana to the higher side. Keep watching it. Ford stock making a little move, but honestly, I probably just not really play Ford right now. Enphase still stalled after it hit that uh, earnings and had a big movement. It's still stalled in this area. So kind of watch that. I think the solar and car market is going to do good once the um, 
interest rates start coming down, probably like third quarter of the year, you're really going to start seeing these push. And that's when I'm really going to start going heavy on the solars and cars and stuff like that. So just be mindful of that. I think that sector is going to do very well um, in this market. You might want me to go over Fundware. Fundware had a big pull down, but then it stalled. What you can do is move support here. If it breaks that support at 31 cents, Fundware might be done for the higher side. So just watch that support at 31 cents. Um, what other stocks you guys might want me to go over? Let me think. Let me think. Uh, we can go over Apple real quick. Apple stalled. It's not much you can do with Apple. I'm going to be honest. It really hasn't moved since like November. It's just a big sideways motion. It might look like it's going somewhere, but technically right now it's at 188. It was at 188 in uh, November. So technically hasn't done much. We go over AMD. AMD hasn't moved either for like the past week since like January 19th. It's almost about to be a month. It really hasn't moved either. Just watch that support at 164. If that support starts to break, I think we're going to have a bigger pull down on AMD. We got NVIDIA. Not too much you can do. This one is at all-time highs. It's kind of just slowly going up. I'm really just looking for a retracement to the downside. That's what I want to play. I want to play the downward movements because it usually has those a lot. Like this downward movement, this downward movement, this one, this one. That's what I'm really looking at to play. Then the upward movements, okay? We have a strategy where we play those retracements as well. Um. Oh, yeah. Disney stock went up. I already talked about that. We had a leap on this one. That's up over 100%. PayPal actually crashed today. I'm looking to buy PayPal, but I'm kind of just waiting. Uh, they actually did pretty good on earnings. They actually beat on their revenue and uh, their earnings estimates. So that was pretty good. I just haven't listened to their earnings call yet, which I'm going to wait. I'll listen to it over the weekend and see what I want to do with PayPal next week. So stay tuned for that. That'll be a big one. Also, Hood stock slowly moving, kind of like Coinbase, very stalled. I think there's a big move on here. I think Coinbase could reach up to like $14, but I don't think it's ready just yet. And other than that, I'll try to keep the video up here. Thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at WillDonKnowledge. And also make sure you follow me on Twitter, WillKnowledge77. And always remember, no trigger of the virus. So anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one.